Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for February 12th through February 18th. Now this is intended to be a love reading but it might not resonate with you because it's not a private reading, okay? This is for a general audience. So just take what does and leave the rest. I'm going to get you a couple of oracle cards and then we will bust right into that tarot deck. Oh, have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always. I was in really shuffle. I'm going to get myself a new deck of these since these are so old and it's time. There it is. Have patience, Pisces. Your soulmate is coming. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Love is patient and kind, always. Many of you have been going through a time of reflection, time of soul searching, so this time alone has served you well. Okay? It's like you guys have, have taken a step back to focus on who, what, when. You know, taking the time to really figure out what it is that you want, what you're looking for, who you are. I think there's been a lack of growth. There's been a lack of forward movement because you needed this time. You needed this time to recuperate. And now it's time for you to refocus. Maybe you guys have been just focusing on your job and your career at this time. Really focused on you and becoming better. You know, really excelling. I feel that you have been focused more so on your career and your job than you have love. Okay? And that really is a form of patience in that arena. It's like, you know what? I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on my job. And when it comes, it comes. And so I feel like because of your, your patience, your lack of uh, rushing for the wrong one... You know, there's a lack of excitement right now. You may be feeling like, hmm, things aren't really exciting because I'm, I've really been working on everything but love. You know, for some of you, this will not resonate with everybody. I just have to tell you that, you know, there's like, it feels like you have not been up to par. You know what I mean? So that's why you really haven't been looking. I haven't really been interested in love as much because I was working on myself. But you may be coming out of that. Maybe you're finally ready to move forward. Maybe you're re maybe you are finally ready to move out of that spot of gloom and doom. I mean, you know, whatever it is. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready now. I feel like there's a new opportunity being presented to you. Perhaps even a new beginning. All right? A new security. A new stability. Could be even a new career. Because this is career as well. So I don't know if you guys are focused on love or career. But... There's a new beginning here where you are going through some sort of transition and it's a good thing. It's like you're, trans you're transitioning from one phase of your life to another and because you're doing that, you know, you're removing blockages right now, okay? It's like you're, people might say you're procrastinating, but I think you're coming out of that period of procrastinating. You took the time that you needed to heal, to work on yourself, to soul search, whatever. And at, during that time, there wasn't a lot of, of passion. There was a lot of excitement for love. And I think that all of a sudden, perhaps a light bulb goes off and you decide, you know what, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for a new opportunity. I'm ready for happiness. 
you know, um, I feel like you guys were perhaps more dealing, more interested in your money once again than you were love. I mean, this is the past over here, thank God. So I feel like you guys were more interested in your finances and becoming secure. And I know it's reiterating, but that's what the cards are saying. But I think you're coming out of it. Instead of, you've been stuck, just stuck, no forward movement, I think. But they think that's over because the center card is the Six of Swords. It's it's transition time. There was no forward movement, but I think there is now. Now you're ready to invest. I feel like you're ready to invest in something, whether it's a job. It could be. It could be. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, man or woman. I feel like now there could be a new opportunity. There could be somebody that comes into your life or somebody that you're thinking about that is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you have decided to invest, okay? It feels like this has been a big, big decision. There's been a lot of confusion, and that's why you needed this time of reflection. You needed this time to soul search because... It was confusing. There's a decision here, okay? With the Seven of Cups, it's time to make a decision. What you own, owns you. If money comes first, then it's money. If love comes first, then it's love. This is money or love. This is the decision that you need to make. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice because there will be consequences whichever choice you choose, okay? Whatever is at the top of your list is at the top of your list. That's what I'm trying to say. And I feel like many of you are definitely, definitely focused more on your career than you are love. All right. And now, you know, it's time for you to take action, but you haven't been. You know that you want, you, you thought about it and 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 you thought about it. And now it's time for you to take action. I feel like communi there's communication. Somebody wants to communicate. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's another person. You have fire signs here and you have earth signs here. That's what I see. So I feel like there's a lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. So I feel like there's communication that is desirable that you want to communicate, but you don't, for some reason, you're confused. There's confidence is needed. All right. Yeah. For many of you, let me just get these last two cards. There's another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's, I think for many of you, there's a choice between two people. You may have a new beginning presented to you, and a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you may be still holding on to somebody from the past, okay, thinking about it, because there's somebody still in your past, in your mind, thinking about it, taking more time, because there's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, perhaps that you haven't let go of. This could be any sign, but this is an X because it's reversed. I think there's an X that you're still thinking about, any sign. But I feel like there could be a new opportunity, a new passion that comes into your life, but you're not sure. You're just, you're reluctant. You're reluctant. And now you're just, you're just sitting back. You're sitting back and being patient what, and trying to make the right decision. You're clinging to the past. The Six of Cups reverse next to this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be any sign, like I said. Somebody is clinging to the past, and that's why you're reluctant to meet, move forward, okay? You definitely are thinking, of, there's two people, there's two people. Do you go or do you stay? What do you do? Do you really, really, really let go, or do you hold on? That's the question. That is the question. Somebody leads to happiness. Which one is it? That's the question. And that's what you're looking for. This is happiness, bliss. In a relationship. You know, it is. But it's, it's the thing is, is you have to release. You have to release something. Instead of thinking about it, you really got to do it. Okay? Because here, if it was upright, I'd be able to say you were being impulsive and you weren't thinking. But because it's worse, it's reversed. You're thinking, thinking, thinking. And this is too, thinking extra long. Hard and long. What do I do? What do I do? I had happiness with somebody from the past. Thinking about the happiness you had with somebody from the past, okay? And that's why you are reluctant to offer happiness to somebody else. You're still holding on. You're still holding on. And I feel like, you know, there's, they, we have a, you're, there's another person, I believe, that has sparked your interest, but 
you can't move on. You can't move on. It's like you've lost your focus. And you're being called to trust your instincts. The lack of the lack of love you have within. It's 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 the lack of love that you have. You really need to make a change. You need to accept this this decision. You know what I mean? You need to make a decision. And your lack of love is halting you from making a decision. It's like you can't let something go. You can't. It's like you can't stop. Alright? It's it's really time for you to bring balance back to your life okay and I think that things probably there's a lack of trust okay there's a lack of trust here and I feel like that's why you can't move forward you you don't trust yourself even you know what I mean you don't trust your own inner self you don't you don't trust other people either I mean I can see there's a lack of trust here okay and there's a lack of gentle compassion and love whether and this is probably for yourself I mean, that's what I see. This reversed, I mean, the Empress is all about love, compassion, beauty, art, creativity, renewal, rebirth. It's reversed. So I feel like there's a commitment. There is a commitment that... This is a sign of Taurus right here. There is a commitment that you have to decide what are you going to do? Are you going to move forward? Are you going to or not? And this could be any sign, okay? Any sign. There's a lot of fire here. A lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think that there's an opportunity and you have to make a choice. And, you know, you can't lie to the universe and say that you're good to go because they know if you aren't. Um, yeah, it's in your hands. It's in your hands. See that she's what? What do uh, gypsies do when they look into their crystal ball? They see the future. Her, the crystal ball is in your hands. the The future is in your hands. It's your. You need to make a decision. You need to look deep within your heart. She has to look deep, deep, deep into the crystal ball to get the answer. That's why this card came out for you to look deep, deep. I feel like there's some love, there's, but if this is reversed, there's the absence of love, and there's an absence of love in several areas, and I don't think it's love for a person, I think it's love for yourself, the ability to offer love, and commitment, commitment, love and commitment, this says that it's in your hands, you look deep, and deep, 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 do you want to keep playing games, because this is my player card, Okay, do you want to keep playing playing games? It's time to decide. It's time to make your decision. It's judgment day. What is it going to be? Sorry about that. I'm going to shut this off and we'll keep going. So yeah, it's time for an awakening. It's a wake-up call. What are you going to do? You're keeping a secret within yourself. And it's time to reveal it. Until you do, there will be no success. There will be no victory. It's time for you to have some confidence, Pisces. Have confidence in yourself. Dig deep. And make a decision. Communication is needed here. There's self-deceit. Okay? You're deceiving yourself. If you're just going to sit back and look at, look, 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 and not communicate, then you're not going to move forward. It feels like there's been a lot of observation going on, but nobody dares to make a move. You're only deceiving yourself by not speaking your truth. If you have a question in your mind right now, 
what's this, what is this? The answer is yes. The answer is yes to whatever question that you had. This tells me that you have the resources within you to do what you need to do, okay? It's time for you to shed the old, the old you, okay? It's time for you to shed the old and be willing to bring success to your life. There's a divine connection here that you are robbing yourself of by not speaking up. Divine connection, robbing yourself, not speaking up. Find the strength within you to take action. There could be an opportunity in love for you. Should you speak up and make a decision? Stop going back and forth. Because that's what you've been doing. Back and forth, back and forth. What do I do? What do I do? Use the resources within you and the, and the stuff you've learned during this period of reflection to bring success. Because living in this state of confusion and, and, and almost like an illusion, because this is like an illusion, is deceit, is self-deceit. And it's time for you to make this decision. It's decision time. So anyway, this is what I have, Pisces. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. You have been patient because you've been trying to figure out what, what to do. Am I really ready for new love? This is also a second chance, the judgment card. Many of you are wanting a second chance with somebody. And you're deceiving yourself by not communicating. Just being patient, waiting for something to happen, but not taking action. You have to take the action. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Take action. That's what I see. Take action, Pisces. Talk to you later.